hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today is friday night friday evening now i normally don't cook on friday evenings because you know long week but i've been really wanting to make my um stuffed salmon so i decided to record so that i can show you guys how i make it so this is what you're gonna need i have my salmon here i just got it from Shoprite. I forgot what kind it is, but it doesn't say it on here. But whatever salmon um, you prefer is fine. I have some shrimp here. These were frozen large um, raw shrimp. I have a little spinach here in a bowl. I just got a little bit because I only need a little bit for what I'm going to do. And here is some 100% crab meat. This is the um, claw crab meat, but what most people use is the lump crab. It'll say lump here instead of claw, but I picked up the wrong one. But you can use whatever crab meat you prefer as long as it's not imitation, 100% um, crab meat. Here I have some Cajun seasoning. This is going to be the only seasoning that I use in this recipe. That's it, you don't need no salt, pepper, anything. I have some cream cheese. Yes, it's great value, period. And then I have here, this is like a blend that I found, Parmesan and mozzarella, which I figured it was perfect, so I didn't have to buy two different ones. But So you're going to need mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. And then that's for the salmon. And then I figured I'll just pair it with like one of these box Goyas. We love these. We eat rice a lot. And then maybe some biscuits. I'm not sure yet. So let's get this started. Okay, you guys, so let me open up this salmon. Yeah, I'm new to this salmon wave. I'm telling y'all, I was not a fan of salmon for so long. I did not like it, but I didn't know that there were so many different types of salmon. So I found the kind that I like. I didn't like salmon because it was so fishy tasting. So I don't know if it was the kind that I was getting, but... Okay, so here's the salmon. They already cut it for me, but these are still too big. So I think I'm gonna cut it again. Maybe I'll cut this one. I should've got a better knife because this is looking real crazy. Okay, this was kind of big though. I guess I can leave it like that and just stuff it. Okay. So I'm going to sit that to the side. And now I'm going to work with my... Okay, so now I'm going to work with this. So I have the spinach here. And I'm going to take that uh, crab meat. And like I said, you get any crab meat that you um, like. I normally get the lump, but like I said, I picked up the wrong one. So you're gonna put that crab in there as much. You can use the whole container if you want. You can use half, but I don't have that much salmon. So, mm. but who doesn't like crab, right? So let's just go for it. Put that in there. Yeah, I think that looks good. So I can save the rest of this and I'll make some something with it. I don't know. So it doesn't go to waste. And then what we're gonna do, I got my cream cheese here. You're gonna add a nice spoonful, nice spoonful in there. Make sure it's softened cream cheese. This cream cheese that I got is the cream cheese spread. So it um, is a little softer. But if you don't have that one, just make sure you soften it before or else it is going to be hard. It's gonna be too hard to mix it. Hold on, y'all, because my baby is being so rude. Hold on. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So I'm giving this a good mix. As you can see, it's so much easier when you have the softer cream cheese. So just make sure your cream cheese is soft. Now what I'm going to do is get that cheese. Just put some of that in there. This is mozzarella and Parmesan mixed. Put that in there. 
also that is as much or as little as you want you like a lot of cheese go for it i'm just trying to make mine um you know i'm just trying to match the portions Okay, so now what I have here is those shrimp. I have a few that I saved on the side, but I have these shrimp pieces. Now my shrimp were large, so I did cut them in half because this is for the filling and I didn't want big old pieces of shrimp in there. So I did cut them in half just so that it goes with it. Mix those in. And don't worry if the shrimp is not done because as you know, the shrimp do not take long. Once you stuff it in there and uh, put it in the oven, it's gonna cook some people sear it before and you can but I just don't feel the need so this is the Cajun seasoning that I'm gonna use McCormick brand is the best brand so far that I have tried and that's why I said I'm not going to use any other seasonings because this already has salt and garlic and paprika and all of those seasonings in there so I added a little bit of that into this filling and I'm also going to season the actual salmon fillets with a little bit of that too. But this is just so the, you know, the filling has a little bit of that Cajun in it. Now this can be a little spicy, so go easy if, you know, if you can't handle the spice. So I'm going to push this to the side and I'm going to bring my, um, I'm going to bring my salmon back. Now guys, when I bought these, they were fresh. But, you know, I didn't use them, so I kind of put them in the freezer so they're not so fresh anymore. So what I'm doing is I am just going to cut a little slit, try to open them without making such a mess. And I'm not really good at this, so you may want to take your time and do this. Just kind of make a hole in it, as you can see just to give us enough space to kind of stuff it. But don't slice it all the way through so that the filling doesn't come out the other end. Just kind of go halfway or a quarter way through. I did this one perfectly, see that? Like halfway or a quarter way through, just enough to stuff it in there. This one is kind of big, so I'm gonna stuff this one a lot, but most likely gonna end up splitting this one afterwards. just like that just enough to get some filling in there so now you can taste your filling to make sure that your you know seasoning is where you want or whatever but I think I'm good so now what you're gonna do is take that filling kind of stuff it all in there you may have to use your hand stuff that bad boy now you stuff it how you want to stuff it I'm gonna try to use all this filling, but I even, I tried to make enough so that I don't have so much filling left over, but I seem to think that I'm going to. See that? Look at that. Mm. Stuff that bad boy. All in there, just like that. Sit that one to the side and do the others. These aren't as big, so I may not have to even stuff it that much. I may not be able to stuff it that much. Just like that and you just stuff them all this one I kind of ripped but it's alright okay so I do have quite a bit of filling left but it's okay so now I'm gonna take a pan Actually, let's see if it'll fit in one of these. I have a aluminum pan. I want to see if these will fit in there. Yeah, no. <laughs> that ain't going to work. Let me get a bigger one. I'm trying to have less dishes. So we'll use aluminum today. All right, so let's put them in the pan. This looks so good. I'm gonna put them in there. Get this out of the way. 
And now we're gonna take that um, Cajun seasoning again. Let me put it so that you guys can see. We're gonna take that Cajun seasoning, that same Cajun seasoning, and we're going to put it on over each one. I'm not gonna do so much. Like I said, this can be spicy, and I don't know if my kids, well, I don't know if Amina can handle it. So just, just like that. And this is gonna give it a nice color. Like I said, it has all the stuff that you need in this. So just be careful. You can add other seasonings if you wish, but just be very careful with the salt because it will turn out very salty. You don't want that. Okay? So now that we got this done, we are going to I have my oven already set and preheated. This is how it looks. I'm gonna place this in the oven for, I wanna say 15 to 20 minutes on 350. 15 to 20 minutes. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it comes out. Okay guys, so this took 25 minutes. I left it for 25 minutes because after 20 minutes it wasn't giving me the look that I was going for. But this is the salmon. Y'all, this smells so good. So the trick for the salmon to know if it's done, it basically just flakes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it literally just flakes off and you can see. And that's how you know it's done. It does not take long at all. I left it for the 25 minutes because I had this really big piece here and I wanted to make sure that it was all nice and done on the inside. But, so I made the rice. This is that um, Goya rice. This is like the um, rice and beans. And then I made, um, the biscuits that's the hawaiian honey biscuit or something like that so i'm going to make a little plate so you guys can see it's like i don't even know where to start what do you what do you how do you pick this up okay kind of join together this is a pretty big piece. I'm probably gonna cut it in half still. Or maybe this will be my husband's plate, I don't know. But, there's the plate. So good. And literally all you need is that Cajun seasoning, I'm telling you. If you guys try this recipe, ooh, you see the shrimp in there, all that cheese oozing out on the side, all them seasonings, I'm telling you. Try this recipe, you're gonna love it. Let me know down in the comments if you tried it. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I'm bringing y'all all the bangers. Like, I'm bringing y'all some real deal videos. So, I need y'all to be subscribed. Help a sister out. I'm almost to that thousand. And, oh yeah, I forgot. I got some lemon juice here. I don't have no fresh lemon, but, you know, you squeeze some lemon juice over that bad boy. Lemon juice goes really good with seafood. Um, but yeah, subscribe and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.